Who owns a box truck business? Entrepreneurs, tradesmen, construction business owners, uh, retirees, college grads, college dropouts. You own a box truck business, or at least you should. Box truck ventures are going to be some of the best performing businesses in 2024. Now, in this video, we're going to show you why and how you can launch and manage your own box truck business. We're going to cover the top reasons to start a box truck business, the step-by-step -step process, how to get started, the costs involved, the types of box trucks and regulations you need to know, and the solutions to the problems you're likely going to encounter, and 10 ideas for a box truck business that we believe will be the most profitable next year. Guys, we're proud of this video. We put a lot of work into it. so. We would appreciate it if you would do us a quick favor and press the like button and subscribe to Sweat Ventures so you're notified whenever we release a new video. Also, if you like this shirt I'm wearing, check out our Shopify link in the description below where we have Sweat Venture shirts and hoodies for sale. And by the power of Zeus, they come in different colors. All right, let's do it. Don't worry, we'll make this part quick. We know you wanna to get to the part about starting your own box truck business. With that being said, a box truck, sometimes referred to as a cube truck, cube van, or even a box van, is a chassis cab truck with an enclosed cuboid shaped cargo area. Now on most box trucks, the cabin is separate to the cargo section, but some models have a door between the cabin and the cargo area. The main function of a box truck is to transport different types of goods due to their size, they're particularly useful for transporting large items while still being nimble enough to navigate through city streets and residential areas. Box trucks can also be found in a variety of sizes, typically ranging from 10 to 26 feet in length, depending on the requirements of the load they're intended to carry. Now, box truck businesses leverage these super efficient vehicles to offer a wide range of services, including, but not limited to, moving services, delivery services, mobile retail, and honestly, so much more. The versatility of box trucks makes them an invaluable asset in many industries, as well as a significant source of income for savvy, hardworking entrepreneurs like you. The transport and logistics industry has always played a pivotal role in trade and commerce, but major shifts have occurred in the last several years that have made the box truck business stand out more than ever. The first reason to start a box truck business is the explosive growth of e-commerce. Now, unless you've been living on the moon the last decade, you must have noticed that e-commerce is blowing up. The landscape of retail has changed forever, whether it's furniture, a new TV, or a large toy, Purchased goods are zipping around in these box trucks in towns across America every single day. And with the rise of e-commerce comes the increased emphasis on faster deliveries. We are now an in instant gratification culture. Consumers expect their quicker delivery times for their purchases. Box trucks, with their ability to navigate urban and suburban areas efficiently, are perfectly suited to address this demand. There's also the dramatic shift towards the localized production of goods. Now, production of these goods, including anything from craft beers to clothing, to fresh bread means that more manufacturers are moving away from basing their operations in one central location. Instead, they're choosing to produce their goods closer to their consumers. With goods being produced in multiple smaller locations, the need for box trucks to facilitate regional and short distance transport has increased significantly. I mean, we can go on and on with more reasons to start a box truck business, but we'll only cover one more. A reason that is very important to you. This reason is the low cost entry. Starting a box truck business does not require as significant an investment as some other transportation ventures. For example, semi trucks or other large freight vehicles not only have steeper initial costs, but also come with increased regulatory scrutiny, more expensive maintenance and a need for specialized driving skills. Box trucks, on the other hand, way more affordable, easier to maneuver, and generally require standard driving licenses, making it easy for entrepreneurs like you to enter the market.
When it comes to the services you can offer with your box truck business, guys, the sky is the limit. There are so many different ideas, some of which probably haven't even been conceived yet. For this video, we put together a list of 10 ideas that fit the following criteria. They're the most profitable, have relatively low startup costs, and generally require minimal expertise. In other words, you don't need four years of college to get started. You can get started today. Delivery services. For the box truck business owner who wants to offer delivery services, there are multiple sources of work available. Logistics companies, in particular, which manage the distribution of goods from suppliers to consumers, provide consistent job opportunities and are a great place to get started. In addition, local businesses from electronic shops to hardware stores often need regular or on-demand delivery services for their stock or direct to consumers. And of course, the e-commerce boom ensures warehouses and online platforms are in constant search of reliable box truck owners. If you're willing to put in the hours, you can make a solid income offering delivery services with your box truck. Or maybe you want to think bigger. Well, you can make a small fortune once you're able to accumulate extra trucks and hire extra drivers. Moving services. The moving services arena is another vast market waiting to be tapped. Whether it's residential homes, businesses, or seasonal college students, there are plenty of people willing to pay a box truck business to transport their stuff. Not only is there a consistent demand, as well as a low initial investment for offering moving services with your box truck, but there is huge potential to upsell your clients. Maybe you want to offer packing, unpacking, or even storage solutions to your clients. Whatever the case, offering moving services gets your foot in the door fast. Storage services. On that note, offering storage services with your box truck is another excellent business idea, especially in densely populated urban areas where there are space constraints and square footage is at a premium. Acting as a mobile storage solution, your box truck can bridge this gap, offering a way out for businesses overwhelmed with excessive inventory or individuals in the transition phase of moving. Whoever your clients are, you would be surprised by how eager, sometimes even desperate, they are to hire someone as quickly as possible, no matter the cost. Mobile tool rental. This is one of our personal favorites on the list. Converting your box truck into a mobile tool rental operation is clever, it's original, and an untapped niche that is likely to eventually explode in the future. Consider how many contractors and do-it-yourself aficionados don't want to buy excess tools, or, like myself, have lost or forgotten a tool on the day of an important job. You know what they always say, the best businesses are the ones that solve some sort of problem. Well. This box truck business idea solves a problem and fast. Just remember to get those tools back because we all know how it feels when you loan out that tool and you never see it again. Temporary power and lighting. Like mobile tool rental, offering temporary power and lighting is another unique untapped niche for the box truck owner that we love. With your box truck outfitted with robust generators and advanced lighting setups, you become an indispensable asset for a variety of scenarios, from outdoor events like weddings to construction projects that extend into the night. And don't forget the critical demand for power and lighting during power outages. We hate to see anyone struggling, especially during emergencies, but just think about businesses who would be in dire need of your services, like an event planner, for example, who has lost power or lights and need it immediately. Job site cleanup and waste removal. Now, most people tend to think about construction, but not the mess that's left behind. Job site cleanup and waste removal is another unique niche that provides lucrative opportunities for your box truck business. With every completed construction project, there is inevitable debris and waste left behind. Debris and waste that you can charge a premium to remove from the job site. One of the great things about job site cleanup and waste removal is that it typically requires relatively low overheads, mainly being waste disposal fees, but there's also the possibility of establishing long-term contracts with construction companies. This is where the big bucks are made. Pressure washing, another idea. 
Although the pressure washing market is a bit competitive if you're willing to work hard and have skills with marketing, a box truck proves to be an excellent base for a pressure washing operation. By equipping your truck with the state-of-the-art pressure washing gear, you position yourself to serve both homeowners and commercial establishments, two massive markets, so there's no shortage of work out there if you hunt for it. Auto detailing. Very similar to pressure washing, auto detailing is another competitive market, but the rewards can be significant if you run a tight ship. By offering meticulous cleaning, waxing, and careful detailing from the convenience of your truck, you position yourself to attract professionals and owners of high-end vehicles who are willing to pay a premium if you offer consistent, solid work. Safety Equipment Supply now, we mentioned earlier how businesses are willing to pay a premium when they need something urgently. Well, this is definitely the case with safety equipment. By outfitting your box truck with a diverse range of safety gear, everything from hard helmets and safety vests to safety boots and eye protection, you position yourself as a one-stop solution for businesses like construction sites, manufacturing plants, and event venues. And if you want to increase your revenue, why not consider upselling your clients? They might be willing to pay for safety training workshops or safety audits and consulting services. Advertise with your truck. The expansive sides of a box truck provide a perfect canvas for advertisements, making them prime real estate for local businesses or event promotions. I mean, by turning your truck into a roaming billboard, you're opening a new avenue for passive income. If you can float the bill for a few box trucks, consider how little effort it would require on your part if you hired a few drivers to do the work for you. And once you start building the relationships, establishing long-term contracts with various clients, that will ensure a steady inflow of revenue. Now, don't worry, we're not going into every little detail about starting a business, like how to fill out a form or how to create a website. There's a time and a place for that. Check out the Heavy 8 course. They'll teach you everything you need to know to start and more importantly, grow a trade business, including how to win more jobs, securing capital and loans, hiring and managing employees, honestly, everything. It's very comprehensive. We'll put a link in the description below. Click it, that's your ticket. So, what's the first thing you need to do for your box truck business? Number one, launch your business on paper. We know you wanna hit the road and make some money, but it's crucial you take care of the less glamorous details and establish a solid administrative foundation before getting your hands dirty. Now, this includes obtaining your EIN, or employer identification number from the IRS. Our best friends, right? This EIN number will be necessary for tax filings and future employee hiring. You also need to choose an appropriate business structure, like an LLC or a sole proprietorship, to determine liability and taxation. You'll need a dedicated business checking account, and you'll need to acquire necessary local permits and specialized license. Again, we recommend taking the Heavy Ape course, or at the very least, speak to an attorney to make sure you have everything covered. Number two, choose your niche and conduct market research. Whether it's moving services or offering storage to your clients, once you are 110% certain about the niche you're gonna target, you gotta do some market research. Who is already successful in your market and why? Who are your competitors and what do they offer exactly? Equally important is recognizing your potential client base. Who are they? What are their needs and preferences? What are their pain points? Gathering all of this market research is paramount. Not only will this knowledge allow you to fine tune your services to give your customers what they truly want, but if you leverage this information, you will have an advantage or an edge over your competition in a potentially crowded market. Number three, acquire your truck and insurance. All right. Now it's time to secure your primary asset, the box truck. The decision to buy or lease depends on your financial strategy. Generally speaking, buying offers long-term savings while leasing reduces initial costs. Whatever you decide to do, ensure your truck's type and size match the specific need of your chosen service niche. For example, if you're venturing into the mobile retail space, a larger box truck might be necessary to accommodate product displays and allow customers to browse comfortably. 
On the flip side, for more streamlined operations like document delivery, a smaller, more agile truck might be more appropriate. And it's crucial that you take insurance seriously. Not only will it protect your investment, but it shows clients that you are professional and trustworthy. Find jobs and develop a pricing system. Now, you're geared up and ready. But this doesn't mean anything unless you've got clients to serve. Now, depending on the type of box truck business you have, you'll likely want to start by reaching out to local businesses that are in need of your services. For example, if you're focused on delivery services, local furniture stores or appliance retailers might require assistance in transporting their goods to customers. And if you're into mobile tool rental, construction sites might be your initial targets. Just remember, as potential jobs begin to line up, you've got to devise a clear and competitive pricing structure. Pricing is a bit of an art form that you'll develop over time, but a good place to start is by comparing your rates with other rates in your region, while keeping your operating expenses in mind, of course. Number five, market and promote your business. As the case with most successful businesses, most box truck businesses are so successful that they no longer find it necessary to spend money promoting their business, but everyone was at the beginning at some point. Now, whether you're starting out, making sure your box truck business is recognizable with a solid reputation is a game changer. Depending on the specific niche you're targeting with your box truck business, there are various ways to market and promote your services. For example, if you're offering temporary lighting and power, consider partnering with event organizers or construction site managers, offering introductory rates or package deals to get their immediate attention. Or if you're offering moving services, maybe you want to connect with real estate agencies and property managers. Whatever the case, contrary to popular belief, you don't necessarily need a large budget to get your business in front of the customers. Being clever and resourceful can take you far with a box truck business. Number six, responsibly manage your finances. One of the biggest mistakes most box truck business owners make is neglecting the finances. The most successful businesses are constantly monitoring the financial health of their business by analyzing earnings. Guys, there is so much great software out there that can simplify the accounting part of a business. I flunked out of accounting. That's why I get someone else to do it for me. And of course, you can always enlist a bookkeeper or an accountant or two, whatever you need. But whatever route you take, just make sure you're humble with the handling of your finances. Guys, if you fail to do so, the consequences are likely to be disastrous, like losing your entire business. Number seven, properly scale your business. Scaling a business doesn't just mean growing a business. Scaling a business refers to the ability of a business to handle increased demand and grow its operations without compromising performance or revenue. In other words, it's about expanding efficiently. For a box truck business, this usually involves increasing the number of trucks in your fleet, adding and diversifying your services offered to clients, or expanding into new geographical areas. Properly scaling a business is what separates the businesses that generate millions per year from the businesses that fail. Anymore, man. My head's about to explode. My whole life sucks. Okay, the fun part costs involved with a box truck business. Of course, starting a box truck business requires an upfront investment, nothing in life is free, which is mainly dedicated to the purchase or lease of the truck itself. While the brand new truck offers the benefits of the latest features and fewer immediate maintenance concerns, it comes with a higher price tag. On the other hand, secondhand trucks are more cost effective upfront, but may present wear and tear issues in addition to the truck there's other initial costs to consider, like obtaining necessary licenses and permits. But once the business is operational, regular maintenance becomes a critical and reoccurring expense. This maintenance may entail routine activities such as an oil change, tire rotation, brake inspections, and other preventative measures to ensure the truck's longevity and optimal performance. Also, insurance is non-negotiable when running a box truck business. It serves as protection against potential liabilities from vehicular accidents to damage of goods. Costs for insurance policies vary, influenced by factors like the size and use of the truck, its operational zones, and much more. Now, while it may be tempting to opt for the cheaper option, 
you may want to reconsider as inadequate insurance can result in much higher costs in the event of accidents or legal complications. Day-to-day -day business activities also come with their expenses as well. Operational costs like fuel consumption, charges for tolls, parking, and other travel-related expenses all should be considered. For this reason, it's crucial to take advantage of the efficient route planning, fuel-efficient driving techniques, and any other solutions to operate your box truck business as efficiently as possible. For those who choose to not personally operate their trucks, it will be necessary to hire the right drivers. Don't be ghost riding the whip, guys. Now, regarding the ongoing expenses of wages, it's imperative to offer solid compensation to attract skilled drivers. If this crucial ingredient to your box truck business is ignored, it's highly unlikely that you will deliver consistent and quality service to your clients. Before we get to the types of box trucks available, please consider following Sweat Venture on the X app, where we post daily tips, news, and clips from all of our videos. We'll put a link in the description below. Check it out, guys. Box trucks come in an array of sizes and types, each designed to meet specific hauling needs. Understanding these variations is necessary for an aspiring box truck business owner, as the choice can significantly influence the range and efficiency of services offered. Light duty box trucks, 10 to 14 feet, are best suited for navigating through city streets and tight little spaces. Their smaller size makes them ideal for short distance deliveries and moves. These trucks are ideal for local and small scale moving services. A middle ground in terms of size, medium box trucks about 15 to 20 feet can handle a larger volume of goods, but still remain relatively nimble for urban and suburban routes. These trucks are ideal for mid-sized moving jobs, delivery for businesses like uh, furniture or appliance stores, and event equipment transportation. With the largest cargo space, heavy-duty box trucks, 21 feet and above are tailored for hauling substantial amounts of goods over long distances. These trucks are ideal for large-scale moves, bulk deliveries, transporting construction materials, or mobile businesses that require ample space, like mobile showrooms or retail spaces. Equipped with cooling units, refrigerated box trucks maintain a very specific temperature inside the cargo area. These trucks are ideal for transporting perishable goods like food or flowers on Mother's Day, or even pharmaceuticals. Specialty box trucks come equipped with specific modifications such as lift gates, side doors, or built-in ramps. These trucks are ideal for niche services that require specific loading or unloading provisions, catering to specific industries or tasks. Every state or country tends to have its own set of regulations and compliance, especially when it comes to weight limits, mission standards, and operational guidelines. For example, weight limits vary to ensure the safety of roadways and bridges, while emission standards aim to reduce environmental impact. Look, whatever the case, it's crucial for box truck business owners to stay informed about these local regulations and ensure they remain compliant to avoid consequences like penalties or, God forbid, business disruptions must also consider licensing. Operating larger box trucks may require a CDL, commercial driver's license, or another specialized license. It's important to research these specific requirements in your area and ensure that you or your drivers have the necessary certifications to operate legally and safely. <laughs> Every business encounters its share of challenges, and the box truck business is no exception. Whether it's breakdowns, fluctuating demand, conflicts with crazy clients, or your basic operational issue, a box truck business owner needs to be prepared to handle any obstacle that presents itself. Some problems you want to anticipate include breakdowns. One of the most common challenges in the box truck business is dun dun dun, the vehicle breakdown. This unavoidable hurdle can cause service interruptions and result in missed deadlines, both of which are harmful to your rep. So, what can you do to avoid breakdowns? At the very least, regular maintenance checks are essential to minimize these unexpected hitches. In addition, it's always good to have a reliable mechanic 
on speed dial, as well as having a contingency fund set aside for emergency repairs, a rainy day fund, if you will. Fluctuating demand. The demand for box truck services can be influenced by a variety of factors, including seasonal changes, shifts in the economy, and local events like sports events or trade shows. If this fluctuation happens to impact your revenue streams, you may want to consider diversifying the services that you offer, branching into other niches during off-peak periods, and building strong ties with regular clients to ensure a steady flow of business. Client conflicts. Guys, ugh, misunderstandings and disagreements with clients, while unfortunate, are likely to occur at some point in your career. As a box truck business owner, whether these conflicts arise from unclear job expectations or are just random miscommunications, the key is to always ensure clear communication from the beginning and keep a record of, of your communication. The more transparent you are starting off, especially with the use of written contracts, the stronger your case will be should there be any sort of conflict with the client. Delivery can be affected by all sorts of operational challenges, including anything from disrupted routes caused by unforeseen events to complexities in booking management. A box truck business owner needs to have the ability to adapt to any situation. In addition, you may want to consider utilizing route planning software, having a reliable scheduling system in place, and investing in your training for your team. Okay, let's bring it home. Final thoughts. Guys, whew, we put as much into this guide as we possibly could. But the most successful box truck business owners never stop learning, ever. Like any business venture, the best way to learn is to get out there and do it, man. Get your hands dirty. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Trust yourself. And most importantly, work your butt off. And for those looking to learn even more, definitely check out Heavy Ape. Right now, they're offering two different courses for the price of one. One course is for winning more jobs, and the other covers everything you need to know to launch and manage a successful box truck business. Now, guys, go out there and get it. If you like this video, check out this recent interview we did with Jackie Hirsch. Now, Jackie has sold over 400 businesses, and she explained to us how to buy a business, even with very little money. I think you'll like it.